It is a great pleasure for us to be here today in this number to discuss an issue that is very, very important to all of us, issue of reshaping social norms. Not all our norms are bad. It is not a fight between men and women. And that is why it's very important for us to work together. And we are here today with core people that we know can shape this recreation. The media, civil society, parliament, UN. Since society plays a key role in transforming the way girls, women, boys, men think and behave, and our parents, our family members, our teachers, sometimes the media strengthen these differences among males and females through messages and behaviors. You then just oppose why it is important to have this conversation with the media and social influencers. We all agree that media is powerful in their way. We want to look at ways of using that power to influence positivity in terms of gender equality and women empowerment. Gender equality is achieved when uh, women and men enjoy the same rights across all sectors. The numbers that we, have, that we see in occurrence of instance is really based in sexual violence. And then the other one that comes like next is psychological violence. And psychological violence is really a silent killer. So all those things really uh, affect the, the, the women and girls. Of course, with men, so the highest number is about women and girls. Men fear that they will not be needed if women are economically independent. More than 56% of men agreed with this statement. Uh, when you look at uh, uh, what people are broadcasting today or writing on all oh, these channels really sometimes make you think up twice on where are we improving when we are talking about gender uh, equality and, uh, and GBV. Every profession has ethical considerations before trainings, before everything, we are practitioners in everything we do. If we really recognize ourselves as practitioners, we can't be ruled by um, people's excitement. We have to be back to our profession. So um, there is something that is not really satisfying uh, from my end. Uh, the issue of partnerships and uh, we need partners. So what we, we've been asking the media, all the people who are here, is not to talk about the stories that are happening, but to change the narrative. By changing the narrative, I'm talking about the titles that talk about 23,000 girls who have been impregnated in Rwanda to 23,000 men who raped women in Rwanda. So that's the kind of narrative that we are always talking about. Changing the stories, shifting the attention from the victims to the perpetrators. I think one of the fights we are having with uh, uh, journalists and uh, influencers, I came to understand that some of them are not even trained journalists because there is what we call journalism ethics, like there is different um, profession. So you will find anyone who has done something has become an influencer and has become a, 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 a journalist. So maybe these things has to be taken holistically, not only come and talk to journalists, but the entire system, how someone become a journalist. First one is a bit that taken as inactive. They are not able. If a person is taken like a note, then it's not really easy to accommodate, to include in whatever we are doing. We need to all enjoy our human right. Have people who are using media and social media, because today you'll have a, a show on TV and on radio, and then it's being broadcast live on, on YouTube. They'll sit and then find ways of making it sensational so that it can, it can attract more views. This is the kind of situation we are facing. We still have a long way to go uh, to effectively address social norms, gender stereotypes, um, seen as the root causes of gender inequalities and inequity. And we are aware that uh, addressing these social norms and gender stereotypes embedded in our cultural beliefs and patriarchal society cannot be done overnight. It's rather a process that requires mindset shift and concerted efforts by different key stakeholders. 
let's all open our hearts, open our minds and discuss the things that we are doing well, the things that we are not doing so well, the things that are positive in our culture, our society, the things that are negative, and how do we address them to achieve gender equality, which we have all accepted is a cornerstone for sustainable development.